Hello YouTube, this is Lisa. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I'm doing great. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I would like to welcome you. And if you're a return viewer, thank you for coming back again. Today I'm at my roll table and I will be starting some seeds. And um, I want to, um, this month I was supposed to start like cucumbers and squash and melons and um, okra. So I'm going to get those started today. Um, some of them should have already been started earlier this month, but better late than never. As far as the uh, cucumbers, I'm going to grow the Market More 76. These seeds I got um, last year, and uh, I don't know why I didn't. I didn't grow these last year, but I got them last year. And I'm also going to grow beet alpha. Now I grew beet alpha last year. I like them. I like the way they taste. Um, all the previous years, I have uh, grown straight eight mostly, and um, I like it. But I want to try different varieties. I have grown um, B Alpha for the last couple years, and I like it. Last year, I really started to like it better than the um, straight eight. And so I was going to try, grow it again, and try the market more. Also, I will be starting um, the straight neck yellow squash. And I am going to start the dark green zucchini these seeds were sent to me by miss ann in georgia and i'm gonna start these i normally don't grow squash um we had grown it in the past and then last year we decided not to grow any because we didn't eat it that much but um my sister does use uh zucchini in her um, cooking uh, sometimes and so um, we have the seeds so we're gonna grow those um, this year I am also going to grow the okra Clemson spineless I'm gonna grow the Burmese and this one doesn't get as gooey and as gooey so because my sister don't like that as much she'll eat the fried okra but she won't eat uh, boiled okra or steamed okra because she don't like the slime so the Burmese is supposed to be um, not so slimy this one is the Louisiana 16 inch long pod okra um i just wanted to try these two these will get pretty long 16 inches that's pretty long and um i just wanted to try these and um i'm gonna try them this year these are um Honeydew melon. I'm going to try and grow these this year. And cantaloupe. It's a uh, sugar cube. Cantaloupe. I grew it last year. It was really, really sweet. And I liked it. We really liked it. As far as watermelons, I am going to grow Jubilee. Now these seeds are what I saved last year. And um but 
it's what was started as Jubilee Baker Creek ones. And this is uh, yellow watermelon, yellow meat watermelon. These are my seeds that I saved last year. And they grew so big and huge. The watermelons did. And they were so good and sweet. Oh my goodness. They were so good. Okay, so that's what I'm going to grow. And I'm going to get started and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to start with the okra. And I already made my labels. It's the Clemson Spineless, the Burmese, and the Louisiana long, 16 inch long pots. I've watered my soil and I want uh, four plants of each of these varieties because I'm going to plant um, 12 plants I think out there. I think that's how I have it. Well, that that's how I have my garden designed. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Clemson Spines. And I want four plants of all three of these varieties. So I'm going to put two seeds her sale and see what I get hope that I get four Okay, so that's the Clemson Spineless. And then I'm going to plant the Burmese. these uh, okra seeds look like they're just the dried up seeds of what be inside those pods but I found out through a youtuber and that um, the Burmese it's not so slimy and so my sister she don't like the slime in okra so just wanted to look for a variety that she might like if she tried them um, steamed Burmese. And now I'm going to plant the Louisiana 16 inch uh, long pots. A 16 inch, that's almost a foot and a half. These seeds are just a little bit bigger than these others. But um, I 
just have to make sure that I'm gonna get four. So that's the reason I'm planting two. Louisiana 16 inch long pods. I'm just gonna kinda hook these down a little bit. sold on top. And that is my dome. I'm gonna put this on the grow shelf on a heat mat. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm going to do squash, straight neck, and um, dark green zucchini. So here, all through here, I'm just going to do straight neck. And then down through here, I'm going to do zucchini. I don't really want but one plant of each, but I have some other family that they like squash, so I'm going to grow some. Just try to get enough. And I'm just going to stick them like that. I don't know what it is, but I just feel, well, this is how the seeds look. I just feel like you should stick the pointed side down into the soil because that's where the plant, that's where it's going to germinate from. That seed broke. That's the, the seed, the plant, when it germinates, it's going to pop out of that on its side so same way with the melons I just I don't know I've never read that but I just feel like you should stick them down like that this way I've always done it and like the melons they grew well to go it that way These are some pretty big seeds. This seed, it don't, it's broke. And then this is the dark green zucchini. These seeds look the same way. And I'm going to put the pointed side down. Okay. I'm just going to push these down.
And as I mentioned many times before, make sure your seeds are making good contact with good moist soil. And they will just pop up for you. So I'll put some heat light over these. This dome over it, and I'll put them on the shelf. Okay, so now I want to plant cucumbers, uh, beet alpha, and market more 76. And um, I've never grown the market more 76, I've grown beet alpha for two years. And last year, I really realized that I like, I really like that variety. So I'll just be planting it on my own for sure. Okay, on this side, I'm going to plant the um, Market Moore 76. Now, I don't know, some of you probably were, was not with me last summer, but I have a, a, a pile out in my yard where I burn stuff and I had cucumbers growing out of that pile the burn pile last year and I could not keep up with them things they kept growing and growing and growing and um, my family and my church family they were eating those cucumbers and they were getting huge but they were still eating them. They said, bring them on. <laughs> Make sure it's making good contact with the soil. You can make sure that of that then the seeds are just gonna grow okay so those are my cucumbers I'm gonna put them on the grow shelf wait a minute I ain't got my maker light on here so okay you all so I started this and I guess I didn't hit record, but I'm planting watermelon and I've already put my Jubilee seeds in. That is the Jubilee watermelon. So I put them in that row there. So now these are the yellow watermelon. I don't know if you all were with me last summer. I grew the biggest yellow meat watermelon you will ever see. And all these seeds are from that watermelon. <laughs> all these seeds. And I shared uh we share it with our neighbor and here again 
I am putting, planting the seeds, um, the pointed side, ugh, the pointed side down. See, there's a pointed side, and the when the seed germinates, the the plant's gonna come out that bottom pointed side. So if you stick it down in the soil, it's just going to pop out and just grow in the soil. So that's why I always plant these pointed side down. I don't know. I didn't read that nowhere. I just did it. And because that makes sense to me. And every year. They just pop right on up for me. Cause when they when the first of those leaves come up, they still have that seed on them. And their little body is down in that soil. Because it pops out of the pointy side. Okay. So I'm gonna plant the crimson sweet. Now these seeds are old and I sure hope they, they germinate let them see they are not as big as these other two varieties I just planted but we shall see I had said because I didn't ever the, the sugar baby never grew well for me so I'm not growing those anymore I would only get like one Okay, so that's the Crimson Sweet. I grew these when I first got these seeds and they, I grew them in a container in uh, one of those uh, black heavy duty containers and it grew, They, I mean they grew. But they didn't get that big. Um, and that after that year, or it was during that year, I realized I need to grow melons in the ground. Because their roots get so big, they just do better if you grow them in ground. So that's when I started my melon mound and my melon patch and I'm going to put some soil over these Mash them in. Make good contact with the soil. I know y'all probably get tired of me saying that, but that's what you got to do. Okay, so I'll put my the Mickey light. This is my dome, and I'm going to put them on the grow shelf. So I'll be right back. 
Okay, so now I am going to be planting melons like cantaloupe, uh, honeydew melons, and I got two variety of melons that um, I was gifted the seeds by Miss Gail, uh, the Georgia Peach Nut um, Garden, and um, she gave me some seeds last year and I'm going to plant them. So the first one is um, I think it's Charentes and I'm going to plant she sent me these seeds and I'm going to plant them. I'm going to plant them in this these two cells. I already have my labels there I'm trying to get these seeds pointed side down too <laughs> okay I've never had these and I'm excited to be able to grow them and then this one is 132 rich and sweet so Miss Gail also sent me those and I'm gonna plant those in these two cells these seeds are really small Plant the uh, cantaloupe sugar cube. These seeds, a little bit, well, they're about the size of those little 132 sweet, rich and sweet I just dropped. I have friends more family that want melons <laughs> and I have all these seeds and I need to use them before they don't be any good anymore these seeds I bought them last year and I grew these last year oh these cantaloupes were so sweet but um I need to use them. But that is for the honeydew melon. And um, now these seeds I got in 2022. Let's see, two. Four, six. These are the seeds I have. They didn't do so well last year. I don't know. Had something was out there eating them, and I mean they were eating them up. And then I got the mint out there. But then it was like I never really got any honeydew melon after we got rid of the pest that was eating them. I'll just put a little soil on top. And y'all know what I'm going to say. mash them in make sure they are getting good contact with the soil okay put this on my grow shelf and i will be right back 
okay you all so that is all that I'm gonna do tonight I'm not gonna um, plant my lemongrass but I'll get that done and the days ahead very soon I just um I'm tired right now and um but that that is um I pretty much just planted everything that I am going to plant this month I think um I did not plant peas yet um a purple hole peas I've had so much problems with ants out in the garden but I will um I'm gonna find another bed plant those in and um, I think I might plant them where I planted my brassicas last year. I'm not planting as many brassicas this uh, spring as I did last spring. And so uh, I'm not planting any of them out there in the big garden. So the bed I had th them in last year, I probably will put the purple hole peas in the, that bed. Um, uh, I was going to plant my green beans in that bed, but um, until I can get rid of the ants in the bed, I wanted to put the peas in. I may have to just wait and put beans back in there because I planted them in there last year. And I think they'll be fine because they grew well in that bed. But whenever you are dropping your seeds make sure your seeds are making good contact with the moist soil and they will germinate just kind of tap them mash them in tuck them away and um i'm always gonna tell you all you better get you one of these um garden bins because they it is um it is wonderful. Sharpie does not last long in my garden. I got labels out there. I started using these in spring of 2022. And I got a bunch of labels out there from then that I use with these pens. It is probably about 10 or 15 of them that come in one box and I'm stay I hadn't had to buy anymore now it cost and back then it was the box was probably um about 10 15 dollars maybe but um it was about 10 or 15 of them in the box and I'm still using them and I still have a lot that I have not opened because they come individually wrapped in plastic and but they last they last if you are one that like to use labels in your garden and you want to put labels so that you know what you got planted there you need to get you some good garden pens guard markers that's I mean, you can continue to use Sharpie if you want to. But my herbs, they grow and they come back every year. So the label that I used when I first planted them in 2022 are still out there. Legible. Very legible. <laughs> okay, so that's all that I wanted to uh, talk to you about and um, also when I was planting my melon seeds and um, yeah the cantaloupes and the watermelons I had mentioned that I stick the pointed seed down into the soil I didn't read that I just felt like the very first time I planted them they pop up out of the soil with that seed still clamped onto the leaves and then when the leaves start getting bigger then the seed just fly off of it well why don't I just but I thought to myself why don't I just plant the seed point it side down I mean 
if you do the pointer side up, then it's gonna pop up the root gonna pop up in the air. Like or and then it's gonna have to find the soil. See that's what I'm talking about. So I plant the melon seeds with the pointed side down just to help it so that it don't have to pop up and then go back down it just pop up and leaves grow and seed fly off of it so I don't know if any of you ever thought about that but I guess some things I'm weird about and that's one of the things that I am weird about and that's how I plant my melon seeds and um, like I said I didn't read that I don't know I just thought about it and I thought that just makes sense to me but um, I hope you all got your grow calendars almanac.com put in your zip code print out or download your grow calendar so that you know when you are to drop your seeds. Um, a lot of you are probably in my zone 8A. And you know you are doing this planting same thing I am. Melons, okra, squash, and um, watermelon. And um, all that. So get your seeds started in the right time for them to grow they will grow well for you and gardening will be fun it will because if you don't know when you're supposed to start the seeds and you just starting them and you will have a train wreck <laughs> you will crash into a Mack truck I'm telling you because that's the way I felt I didn't know and you can't watch everybody because everybody's not in your growth zone and they are doing what they're supposed to be doing when they are supposed to do it. And you probably are not supposed to be doing it when they are doing it. So get your girl calendar and you'll know when you are supposed to do what you're supposed to do. And when. <laughs> so you all, thank you for hanging out with me this evening. And um, if you like my content, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have not already, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload content. So you all stay safe, stay well, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.